to control our emotions is key to succeed as Forex traders. John Hardy, Head of FX Strategy at Saxo Bank, thank you very much, be very welcome. Okay, John, so tell me, is our psychological behavior going to influence the kind of trader that we are? Yes, I mean, my presentation today, which is normally about uh, directions and markets, but today I was looking at, at, at ways we can find inspiration from some of the trading uh, greats throughout history. And what they all seem to show us is, on the psychological side, that we need to find some trading style that fits our psychological profile as well. So is that short term? Is it a relaxed sort of doing long term studies and then unemotionally placing a trade at the beginning of the day after extensive study and going away? Or is it a more high energy style where you need to see or not see that, that profit or loss uh, within the trading day? So uh, I think one big takeaway I'm hoping that, that people have gotten from today's presentation is that there's no one trading style that, that, that is right or wrong. It has to meld with the person who is doing the trading, even for automated systems. Okay, but uh, there are type, typical psychological mistakes that we traders do again and again. Yeah. There so are, like of course. What? Yes. <laughs> well, the classic one, of course, is, and you see this in group behavior, whether it's on uh, tradingfloor.com's uh, open positions uh, on occasion, uh, is letting losses run and taking quick profits. This is, this is a, the classic error that, that seems to be hardwired. One of the books I looked at today and, and talked to the viewers about was this trading behavior or, or, or investor behavior, behavioral investing, sorry, where, where we see that, that this just seems to be hardwired in us to, to be quick to take that profit and to, to not want to admit our losses. So before going into the trade, we need to know where that loss is and where we're willing to and have to get out of the trade. Yeah, but let's say that I'm a trader for more than two years, for example, and I have a good and proven towards strategy, yeah. and suddenly I start to lose everything. How do I overcome the anxiety and the sense of lose? Yeah, that's, that's a really critical thing, right? It depends on what kind of system that is. If it's a trend-following system, then you have to know there's, there's really bad long drought periods where there are no trends and you're getting all these false starts. And then you just have to know that or hope that your, your, your trend indicators are going to come out for you and the trend develops at some point. If it's a system based on a higher winding percentage and, and defined setups, then you need to be very concerned and you need to stop trading and figure out maybe something has changed in the market, maybe the cycles have changed, why this is not working anymore, uh, rather than doubling down or continuing with a system that's not providing. Again, it depends on the circumstances. Uh, those are two, two examples. Okay, um, but do you think that in that case, maybe practicing yoga or meditation could help me to be a better trader or, a, or to control my emotions? I, I think it could be in, in the context of that we often don't understand how we're gonna feel once a trade is on. So if we put on our trades in a sort of a calm state, which would obviously be encouraged by such practices, it's a great idea. Um, as long as we know that, that uh, later on, if we haven't made a good plan and, and put that plan in motion, that we don't realize how we're gonna feel when that trade starts going against us if we don't have that plan in place. So again, it's, it's, it's one of the behavioral investing things as well is that we, we don't have empathy for our future selves. We don't know how we're gonna feel uh, when the thing starts going against us or for us. So, so we should have the plan that is made when we're in a relaxed state, like the kind you can get from, from these types of practices, sure. Okay, but um, there's any advice, any general advice that I could take to control what I'm feeling while, while trading? Uh, I, think, I think basically I covered it with the last one. You really have to not be susceptible to, to watching the market, uh, tick for tick, up and down. You have to have your plan in place beforehand. And as well, you can't be uh, allowing your ego to become the trade, to become your ego. You know, do careful, prepared action beforehand, studies, set the plan in motion, and don't let the, the trade itself become part of your ego and, and, the, and the ups and downs uh, affect you emotionally. I think it's very exhausting uh, when you invest too much of yourself uh, into the trade as, on that basis. Okay, thank you very much for your advice. Yes. Thank you.